Hey guys, it's Inspiron41. I'm back here with uh, doing this broadcast in the freezing cold outside. Uh, I'm re- recording from my Nexus S while hosting a mobile hotspot for my Atom. Um, talk about multitasking. So here I, got, I just wanted to talk about the, the nav- uh, GPS and the uh, uh, gyroscope. So um, for this demonstration, I installed installed uh, the latest version of Google Maps. Um, I was a little bit worried about the GPS, whether it will work or not, since all the times I'd done this testing, I was pretty much indoors, and it wasn't able to, uh, able to uh, pick up my uh, position, so I figured to try it outside. Um, so, let's see. So here's uh, Google Maps installed. This is the latest version, 5.0. Um, and here we have it. Uh, works very nicely. Um, as you can see, I already downloaded a couple of the maps to make this presentation a little bit easier. Um, and as I zoom in New York, it has a lot of tall buildings. You can see to get closer um, or not, the building starts to appear. And you can, uh, the two uh, fingers can uh, can adjust the viewing angle. But the only thing you can't do is uh, rotate. That's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Uh, not a big loss. Um, but here's the worst thing. Worst thing about it. Um, there's some. There seems to be something wrong with the GPS, and I'm hoping uh, Ronan, Ronan is uh, watching this video because uh, it always positioned me somewhere in the Middle East or or near India. Um, See, so when I hit the find my position, let's see if it work. It thinks on in Kazakhstan, I believe. If anyone knows their um, geography, but um, as you can notice, that um, let me show you. Let's see. Uh, probably not for this demonstration, but it does detect whenever, um, uh, does detect, uh, 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 directional changes in my position. So that's good. Uh, I'm guessing it's a little bug that needs to be, uh, fixed and an update or something. Um, because it's way off and I'm not, definitely don't want to be in Kazakhstan. And just to confirm, let's uh, let's look at their uh, the pre-installed uh, navigation map, which is called Awesome and It also, if you can see, thinks that I'm in Kazakhstan too. So it's not just Google Maps. So, but at least um, at least uh, Google Map 5.0 is installed, so you can. Um, Store the map tiles um, natively on uh, caged in your atom, so you could view it when you're not um, in a Wi-Fi or a mobile hotspot zone. So um, let's see. Another thing I wanted to um, um, test out was the um, gyroscope. Um, of course, I had to uh, come through a ton of. Uh, games to see what find a game that would actually work so but the, it's mostly not it's not the notion ink it's more of the application not working with the, a screen of this size so I installed um, uh, speed forge uh, which is one of the very was which was re- pretty popular in st- when it was launched um, the only problem was with this uh, application is that uh, it doesn't register the 
um, the button press, presses on the game while I play it. So let me just show you. Graphics is not bad, I've got to say. I'll put it on easy mode for me. Three, two, one. Gyroscope response is, response is um, pretty um, fast, pretty accurate. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, of course, I'm not that great at this game, but you get you get to, you get the you get what I'm saying. How the gyroscope is pretty responsive and all. Well, it's pretty cool. Um, So, um, let's see. So I guess as a uh, so I guess as more application comes out um, that's um, suitable for our tablets, this Notion Inc would be pretty awesome when it comes to playing games. Um, so I'm hoping uh, uh, Roland and his Notion Inc team will get a uh, honeycomb installed onto uh, the Notion Inc. I'll, until then, I don't think we'll see the true potential of this um, tablet. Alright, take care, guys.